everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla, and if you're interested in lifestyle videos, sprinkles of magic, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You guys can already tell by the title, but today I'm going to be sharing with you guys everything I've been loving in the winter months, and we have a lot to get through, so let's just go ahead and get started. I wrote down everything on my phone here, so let's just go ahead and start from the top. I actually don't have too many beauty favorites, and honestly, I have been trying to be really, really good about not buying a lot of makeup because one, I already have a lot of makeup, and two, I just don't have any where to store it, so I haven't been really buying as much makeup, I feel like. So... With that being said, I only have two beauty favorites and only one is like makeup. But anyways, enough rambling. Let me share with you guys the first beauty favorite. My first favorite are these lashes from Lashes in Wonderland. And she recently just released these plant-based lashes and I've absolutely been loving them. This is like a major upgrade. I feel like the band is super, super comfortable and... I've been wearing Bare Necessities like every day for like my normal everyday makeup. Like for this makeup, I've been always wearing Bare Necessities. They are so cute and so comfortable and I like how like they're not too long and they're also like really wispy. So I really, really like these. And then I've also been wearing La La Land and these... Oh. My bad. These are a little bit more thicker and dramatic, so they're really nice if you're doing a really glam look. Like, I just wore them recently to a Christmas party that I went to, and I absolutely love them. And guys, I always have to point out her packaging. Her packaging absolutely always slays. So it has lashes in Wonderland and the front, and it has, like, this really pretty checkered pattern. And then on the back, it says, who are you? But, you guys, like, the attention to detail is everything. When you open it, it has, like, a really pretty picture of Alice in Wonderland. I think this is, like, the teacups, or it's kind of just, like, a blur of images together. But either way, it's really, really cute. I just love Miranda's attention to detail. She is so talented and i love her lashes so i was really really excited when these came out because she was kind of like on a little bit of a hiatus but then she recently came back with these plant-based lashes they're just chef's kiss i absolutely love them and if you guys are interested in these lashes or any of her other lashes then feel free to use my code kayla's ever after i checked it on the website it still works so go ahead and check out lashes in wonderland because i absolutely love her the last beauty favorite is more of a skincare body care item I guess you would say but if you guys saw my first episode of vlogmas I picked up this philosophy body soap this is the snow globe scent and it just smells so good it smells like high chew let me see I don't know it's just really giving me high chew like it probably would smell like berries maybe but I just think it is so cute and it makes me so happy to smell this scent because the normal body wash I use which is the okay I had to look it up but the normal body wash that I use which is the matcha body wash from raw sugar I feel like it doesn't really smell that strong so when I smell this all the time it just makes me so happy but whenever I would use this body soap I just get so happy because it smells so good and the packaging is really really adorable as well as it has like these really cute holiday ribbons and leaves on there so cute I've absolutely been loving this and I'm also really glad that I got like a smaller size because I know they usually sell those like jumbo bottles but this is like the perfect size so I'm really really happy about this purchase those are pretty much my only beauty favorites now I have a lot of fat Fashion favorites so let's just dive in and I gotta collect everything actually so hold on okay I have like a pile of clothes sitting next to me so we'll just dive into that after but first let's just go ahead and dive into the shoes the first pair of shoes are my hokas and I absolutely needed to share this with you guys because they are so 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 stinking comfortable I've seen so many people wear them at the park but then I typically don't really like them because they usually come in like these really bright highlighter colors but I found some online in all white and I wore it on my recent trip to the parks and I absolutely love them I mean granted if you guys are gonna be in the park like all day from opening to close your feet are gonna be tired regardless but I feel like with these shoes my feet weren't that tired and I have wide flat feet and these were really comfortable for me I feel like sometimes if I wear like my chunky converse like those were not really comfortable at all for me even though they're comfortable for a lot of people but I think because these are fabric they are so much more comfortable for me and they have like a really thick sole so I feel like that really helps support my feet and I just love them like these are the only shoes that I wore on my recent trip to Disneyland and I absolutely love them and I feel like I can't wear any other shoes now but it's perfect because they're an all neutral fit I 
actually remember when we were in Disneyland in line for Rise of the Resistance, someone was like, oh my gosh, are those all white hokas? And I was like, yes. And then she literally ordered them in line while we were waiting. So I definitely would recommend them. These are the Clifton style. I will try to link them down below if I remember, but either way, these are just so comfortable and I absolutely love them. The next pair of shoes that I have to share with you guys probably shouldn't be a surprise, especially if you follow me on Instagram because I feel like I've been wearing them in a lot of my outfit pictures, but they are my little slip-on Uggs. These are the Tasman Ugg slippers and they are just so, so cute. I wanted these last year, but then I just never got around to buying them, so I ended up buying the other pair of Ugg boots that I have. But I really like these and I finally just bought them this year and I've been wearing them pretty much like ever since, especially since it's been really, really cold here in the Bay Area. I just like wear these when I'm on the go, like running errands and everything. And they, I probably wouldn't wear these to the parks, but again, I feel like for my flat wide feet, I need shoes with a little bit more support. But for like running errands or like going to lunch or something, I feel like these are really comfortable and really cozy and warm for the cold winter months, but I absolutely love these. I think these are so cute and like go off Uggs, like just really making a comeback. So love these. This next fashion favorite is not going to be a surprise as well because it is my black leather blazer from Princess Polly. I got this like in the fall, I want to say, and I've absolutely been loving it. It's not like really stiff at all, so you could probably, it's not really stiff, so it's really flexible and it's thin so you could definitely wear like a chunky sweater i'll try to drop a few pictures of me actually wearing it here but either way it's just really comfortable and i feel like this is a really versatile piece for the summer and winter because in the winter you can layer it with sweaters and be really warm and cozy but also in the summer it's like not too heavy where you would wear this and be super super hot so I really like this and I think it's definitely going to be a staple in my closet and I'm surprised I didn't have one before like I think the reason I bought it was like I really just need a leather blazer in my life because I feel like it'll be so cute and I've been getting so much use out of it so I definitely would recommend. The next two favorites are pants. The first are these cargos from princess polly princess polly please sponsor me i love you so much but i love princess polly and these are the adelaide cargos i wore these to disneyland and i've been wearing them a lot recently because they're cargos but they're not really like the thin cargo material they're a bit heavier i think they're kind of like more jeans fabric i feel like honestly they're pretty loose on me like i probably could have sized down a little bit but i kind of like the baggier fit like i feel like it kind of makes the look but either way i've really been liking these and i probably should get them hemmed because these are way too long for me so i have to roll them up but either way i feel like it still kind of goes with the look and i like how it has like a bunch of pockets so either way another really great purchase from princess polly and i think i'm going to call these like my winter cargos because i have like these other cargos that i love from abercrombie but they're a little bit too thin for the winter time sometimes, so my winter cargoes. The next pair of pants is actually pajama bottoms that I've been wearing. My room is absolutely freezing at night. Like my room is always the coldest for some reason. So I've just been really freezing and like I will have like my comforter, but then I also have an extra blanket on top. But then I also wear these pajama bottoms at night and it just makes my life. They are these Mickey and Minnie Christmas pajamas and I totally don't remember when I got these like I think I got these so long ago but they just have Mickey and Minnie on them and they're red and they have like a lot of snowflakes on them and they've just really been keeping me warm and they're so cute and I think I'm probably going to be wearing these throughout the winter. I actually bought another pair of Disney pajamas like the recent ones that came out this year but I just haven't been wearing them because it's so freaking cold so I've been wearing these because these have been keeping me so warm and cozy at night. Another winter favorite is my Lululemon Everywhere belt bag. I have it in the Sherpa fabric and it's just a really pretty nude color. So I've just been using this like every single day as like my dog walking bag and also like my bag if I have to go run errands. This has been the fanny pack that I've been using. I haven't touched my Sony Clovers. But either way, I feel like this is like the perfect winter belt bag because it's Sherpa. So I think it's just really cute. And if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts on the Lululemon Everywhere belt bag, I have a video comparing the Stony Clover fanny pack to the Lululemon Everywhere belt bag. I'll link it somewhere on the cards, but I share a bit more of my thoughts there on the bag. But it's just a really cute winter bag, and I've been wearing it all the time and trying to get my use out of it during the winter time. The next few favorites are what I'm actually wearing, and the first is this Snow Pals crew neck, and this is from 
pretty magical shop and hello sam sam designs and it just has like this really cute snowman design on it and it has like mickey minnie daisy and donald in the snow and i think it's just so adorable i'm pretty sure i included this in my winter favorites last year but i just had to include it in my winter favorites again this year because it's just so cozy and comfortable and cute and i was really excited for the holiday season and winter time to come just so i could wear the sweater i just think it's absolutely adorable and it reminds me of Tokyo Disney merch so that's why I love it so much and then my next few favorites are the stack of necklaces that I'm wearing so the first is this snowflake hidden Mickey necklace from Fantastic Configuration and I really love this combination of like the snowflake necklace with this sweater I think it is so 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 cute but I love it for the winter time and I love how it has like a little hidden Mickey detail in there if you guys are interested in this necklace or any of her other amazing necklaces then use my code fantastic Kayla at checkout I get a little bit of a commission so it would really help your girl out but either way I still love Fantastic Configurations like I bought a lot of her pieces even before I worked with her so I definitely would recommend and she is like the sweetest shop owner and the next necklace in my stack is my Disneyland necklace and this is like the famous influencer necklace that I feel like everyone has but I've been wearing it so much since I got it because I think it's just such a cute layering piece like I'll wear the Disneyland necklace with like a symbol so I'll wear my Disneyland necklace with like a snowflake or I'll pair it with like my park hopper hat necklace but either way I think it's just so 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 cute and of course I love it because it says Disneyland Disneyland and I love Disneyland so I've absolutely been loving this little stack here and I think I'm going to be wearing it a lot during the holiday season and those are pretty much all of my fashion favorites I definitely had a lot I guess I've just been really liking playing with my style a little bit more in the winter months and I feel like honestly my style thrives like in the fall and winter because I have so many like coats and sweaters so I just have a lot of clothes to wear but anyways moving on to my entertainment favorites so I am so 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 late to the game but I finally watched The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett and I'm absolutely obsessed like I think I watched it when it initially came out but then I wasn't that into it for some reason but I recently rewatched everything and I'm absolutely obsessed like I love The Mandalorian and Grogu's relationship and I think Boba Fett and Fennec Shan are absolutely badasses and I absolutely love how Ming-Na Wen is Fennec Shan because obviously she's the voice of Mulan so I think it's just so cool and I'm also really really excited to see the Ahsoka Tano series so either way I've just been loving the Mandalorian and now I'm just like obsessed with Grogu merch like every time I see Grogu merch I'm like oh my god that is so cute so yeah I really liked the Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett like I feel like that's the reason I'm kind of becoming a Star Wars girly like I've seen all the Star Wars movies and I absolutely love like the original series like the Skywalker series and I also really like the Obi-Wan Kenobi series so I don't know, I guess your girl's turning into a Star Wars girly now. The next favorite I have to share with you guys is From Scratch. And if you guys have not watched it on Netflix yet, then what are you doing? Because I feel like so many people have been talking about it on TikTok and on Instagram. And it's just so good oh my gosh like if you guys are into this is us then i feel like you guys will really like this show because it just tells the beautiful love story of this american who travels to italy and she falls in love with an italian man and it's just like a beautiful love story and i'm not the crier but i swear you guys on the seventh episode i was literally bawling the whole entire episode like I think from episode six to seven I basically was just crying I literally binge watched the show like when my parents were in Georgia and I was just watching this by myself and I watched the whole thing so I feel like my emotions were just like all over the place and I just I just loved it. I highly would recommend I think it's such a beautiful love story and it teaches you a lot about love and like marriage in like in sickness and in health and it's just like a beautiful story and i'm currently reading the book i'm almost finished so i can't say it's my favorite yet but i definitely would recommend you watch the netflix series and my last entertainment favorite is black panther wakanda forever and if you guys saw my disney vlogs i watched it with matthew the first night that we were in southern california and i absolutely loved it it was so good it was so visually stunning and just seeing all the worlds like seeing Wakanda and then also seeing Talo Khan was absolutely incredible and I was really really engaged the whole entire movie especially because I think there were so many different plot lines going on and it was just a really really good movie like I hope you guys have already seen it but if you guys haven't definitely go out and support that movie and it was a really beautiful tribute to Chadwick Boseman and I think it really honored his legacy in such a beautiful way so I highly would recommend you guys see that movie 
and I'm really excited for it to come out on Disney Plus so I can watch it again. And I also will say if you guys do see it in theaters, make sure you go to the bathroom because it's like almost a three hour movie and there's like a mid credit scene. So definitely go to the bathroom. Now moving on to random favorites. So the first random favorite is this cutie little snowman Santa Mickey mug and I think it is so adorable. If you guys saw my second episode of Vlogmas, you guys would have seen me pick this up with Cassie and it was such a funny story just because Cassie was like literally in the store just looking for this mug and she couldn't find it and then we were in line about to check out and then I looked to my left and then I saw it. I was like, hey, is that what you're looking for? And luckily you guys, there were two left so I had to pick one up for myself because it's just so adorable and it's also only like $12.99 so I had to pick it up and I honestly haven't used it as like a mug. I've just been using it as a little decor piece but either way I think it is so cute and it makes me so happy to look over and see it so I think this is like the perfect addition to my little holiday like winter display like how cute is he and he actually kind of goes like with my shirt like it basically looks like this Mickey slay my next random favorite is this water bottle that I recently picked up from Disneyland and it's the Starbucks holiday water bottle that they recently came out with and it just has like all these little Santa Mickeys on it and then it says Disneyland on the side and I don't know if you guys can tell but like it's kind of like iridescent a little bit like it kind of has like a pearly finish and I think it's so pretty and I've absolutely been loving this. It's a really good compact water bottle. So whenever I'm going out, I really like to carry a water with me. So I've just been carrying this with me. It's like the perfect holiday water bottle. And I actually really need to drink water right now because I've been talking for like 50 hours. So hold on. And my last random favorite is actually a tech favorite from my sister. She got me the AirPod Maxes for a combo birthday Christmas gift. And I'm so thankful that she even bought these for me in the first place because these are not cheap. And I've been loving these for like editing videos and sometimes I'll walk with them, but I don't like to take them on my walks because like I get sweaty and I don't want to get these all gross and disgusting. So I like it when I'm editing videos or I'm like watching a movie or I feel like these will also be really good for travel. So I'm really excited to take these with me because I have a longer trip coming up or like a longer plane ride coming up. So I think these will be really perfect, especially since they have the air canceling feature and I have the silver ones. I think these are called, but they just look like this. I think they look so cool and I feel like they also look like really chic like I've been wanting these for a while but I already have like airpods so I didn't think I needed them but this was just like a nice to have and either way I just feel really lucky that my sister is able to get them for me and they're just so cute like look I feel like they look so chic and now that I have them on I literally can't hear you guys at all and I can't hear any background noise so I feel like I'm shouting but anyways they just look so cute. They also kind of look like earmuffs, which is kind of cute as well. Either way, I just really, really like these. And again, thank you so much, Malia, for getting these for me. And that, you guys, is all of my winter favorites. I was scared I wasn't going to have a lot just because I haven't been really trying a lot of makeup. But I guess I did have a lot of style and holiday favorites. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys have been loving in the winter months. I would absolutely love to know what things I should be trying out. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video from me, especially if you guys don't want to miss any of the Vlogmas videos. And let's stay connected. Follow me on my socials. They're both just Kayla's Ever After. And be sure to follow me on my Instagram because next week I am hosting my Makeup Ever After holiday challenge. I'll go ahead and leave the prompt right here but it would be so much fun if you guys participated and we just did a bunch of fun holiday looks together and I think that's pretty much it but thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next one bye